Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is just going to be a super chatty get ready with me. I just, I'm actually getting ready and I just figure why not film it? Why not tell you guys a little bit about what's been happening in my life and all that fun stuff. So if you guys want to get ready with me, then let's just, let's just go ahead. I'm going to start with the Hangover by Replenishing Face Primer by Too Faced. I love it. You guys know I love it. So... Uh, let me see. Oh, well, the first thing that I want to say is that I got different lighting. So if the lighting looks a little bit weird or off or whatever, this is my first time playing with it. So I don't know, like, what I'm doing whatsoever, just, like, at all. Right now, I'm just going to prime my brows with the NARS eyeshadow primer. Oh, my God, what the hell is that? Oh, my God, can you guys see my breakouts? You probably can. Right here right here it's like right here especially they're so bad and i don't know why i have no idea why i mean okay i have like a little idea i eat a lot of sugar <laughs> like a lot i pretty much crave airheads like on a daily basis so not that i eat them on a daily basis but i want them every single day also i'm wearing a shirt by the way i feel like i looked real naked there for a minute for foundation i'm using the smashbox studio skin in 3.4 i haven't used this foundation in forever and this was like my holy grail for a long time aren't you supposed to be like all glowy and beautiful and stuff when you're pregnant because i'm not getting that vibe here you know i'm just breaking out i've been trying my absolute hardest to stay out of the sun this summer only because i don't I don't want to keep buying foundations because I keep changing the color and it's like really hard because if you guys don't know I have a pool in my backyard and it's just like calling me every day and I'm like come on I'm going in with my brow pencil this is the Too Faced chocolate brownie in the color deep brown I just started using this pencil like two days ago I'm still not really sure I'm just trying to work with it for right now so I don't have an actual opinion do you guys ever get into like a phase Damn, I gotta do my eyebrows. Where you just like hate your eyebrows. Cause that's, that's me right now. I cannot stand my eyebrows. I can't stand the shape. I can't stand like filling them in. I'm just over their existence right now. I swear like ever since I've been pregnant, everything is just so much hotter. I'm just always hot all the time. I used to take like scolding hot showers. Like even in the summer I used to be like, I need a hot ass shower. And now I'm like, please. Jesus. Just let me shower with ice. I'm pretty sure it is mad loud, but I'm sorry. I can't. I can't live like this. I am sweating everywhere. I don't I don't know, man. Let me know if you guys have like something that I can use that's not this loud because I can't I can't live. Text Austin. What do you want to say to Austin? Filming. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, I'll send it. So let me prime my eyes. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Blah Blah in light. Oh, so what I was gonna say, it's gonna give you guys a little bit more insight as to what it's like in my pregnancy. I'm so mad all the time. It's like the smallest thing will like set me off and like I know in the moment like while it's pissing me off I'm like this is really dumb, but like I can't I can't like not get pissed off I just get really really mad Elver is like so over me as a human being As he should be I would have been over me years ago all the time So for eyeshadows, I'm using the Nicole Concilio palette with Violet Voss I just got this in the mail yesterday and I was like <laughs> Perfect timing. My idea is to do something really peachy for today. Like a peachy summer look, you know? So I'm gonna start with the color bra. Right there. It's just like a um, super light peach color. And I'm using the Sigma E40 brush to throw this in my crease. So I'm just mad all the time. And I want, I only want sweet stuff, which is like really bad because um, I could get diabetes really easily like while you're pregnant you have a much higher chance of getting diabetes and they actually just did the, the test on me um, I haven't got the results yet though. 
pasta. I'll let you guys know. But honestly, if I don't have it, I'll be shocked because all I want to eat. Did I even? I didn't even put on brow gel. Clear brow gel. Please hold. All I want to eat is sweet stuff all the time. And it's like really bad. But I can't stop, won't stop. And like if somebody tells me no, I'm like, excuse me? I'm going to go in with the same brush and grab Z Color Pizza. Which is right next to Bra. Right there. Oh no, I didn't put my wedding ring on. I'm like one of those people who never wears her wedding ring. Like, ever. But Elver doesn't even care. But Elver wears his, like, religiously. Like, like there's not a day that Elver's not wearing his. Not like a second. Like, he wakes up and immediately puts it on. I'm just like, eh. Whatever. We've started doing things in AJ's room. We have her crib. Her changing table. We got her car seats two car seats we got her stroller and this is all like because my goddaughter she's five now and we're we're, we're getting her her hand me down to this that doesn't have me down yet so thank god for that i'm gonna go into the color um these colors are like so similar the color blau and mars i feel like they're really similar let me see them i guess mars is like a little darker i'll go in with mars i guess with the Coastal Sense Pro Blending Fluff. Yeah, her room is like, is coming together. Um, there's a whole bunch of like Etsy things that I wanna order so I can like put it together. And like the theme of her bedroom is gonna be mermaid and I'm so stinking excited. I'm so excited, I hope like she likes it. I mean, she's gonna be a baby, who cares? I plan on filming a full face using Too Faced products in the near future like within my next like two videos and i also want to film a tutorial with that stila magnificent metals the dark shade that you guys told me you wanted a smoky eye with so i'm gonna film both of them regardless but which one do you guys want to see first i want you to let me know i'm gonna grab the color chocolate chocolate brother and i'm just gonna work this on the outer v the day that i'm filming this the jacqueline hill palette is back in stock and i've been fighting with myself forever trying to figure out if i wanted to get a backup of it or not and basically elver decided for me i was like hey do you think i should get a backup and he was like how much makeup do you have that you don't use and you're gonna get another entire eyeshadow palette and i was like you got me there i don't think i've ever hit pat on an eyeshadow in like my entire life so i guess i guess you know gotta give it to the guy he's got let me let you in on a struggle i'm like jumping from like topic to topic i hope you guys don't mind you know what? i'm gonna go into the color hey girl which is that color right there with the coastal sense brush just a little bit just to blend out chocolate a little bit so right now i'm struggling with milkshake i'm trying to get her to go outside and since she's only ever use like weavy pads and stuff like she's totally trained with weavy pads like she pretty much never has accidents but i'm trying to get her to go outside and she will not go outside like i'll bring her outside when i know it like she has to because like i basically know her schedule by now you know so i'll bring her outside and she'll chill like on the grass like playing with bugs and stuff or whatever just dogs do and then she's like man nah, i'm not really interested and then i'll bring her inside and like 0.3 seconds later she goes on the baby pad and i'm like that's enough crease work i'm gonna go into what do i want to go into i'm gonna go back into bruh that first peachy shade and i'm just gonna put this on the lid oh i should have highlighted my brow bone first oh i'll just leave the brow bone unhighlighted whatever nyx matte liquid liner the huge are we shocked i should have probably used one of these like metallic shades another day another day let me know if you guys want like a full tutorial with this palette i can totally do that i mean like if you want i hate doing wing liner it's like it never ever comes out good so i've been going back and forth with whether or not i want to call aj aj like when she's born obviously i call her that now because i don't want to reveal her actual name but i don't know i feel like i don't know i'm kind of on the fence about nicknames because I've had a nickname since like I was born, which is obviously Katie. My real name is Catherine. 
case anybody didn't know that. Um, and like I never really liked it because every time like I would go somewhere and they would call me Catherine like in school or whatever, I'd be like, no, nobody calls me Catherine. I've ne like I've never been called Catherine in my life. Please call me Katie. You know. So I feel like if I call her AJ, like I don't want her to go through the same thing. So like, like I want to know your opinions on these things. Like, what do you guys think? Like, would you call your daughter AJ? And I know AJ's like. I feel like AJ is kind of more masculine, but I like it. And then Elver's like, no, don't call her AJ because, like, you know, we worked so hard on picking her actual name. And, like, it's a really nice name. Like, we, we like it so much. So then nobody's gonna ever call her it. And it's like, okay, like, why do we even do that, you know? I'm also thinking about picking up the Derma Blend powder because I've been hearing many good things about that one even though i just picked up the Too Faced one but i still want to pick up the blend I, i've been thinking about the cover effects one also <laughs> i just want to try a really good new powder i feel like i've been so obsessed with laura mercier forever that i'm like on the hunt to find a new powder i'm like i'm i feel like i'm just so stuck on my ways when it comes to makeup like i don't i don't feel like i try a lot of new stuff you know what i do want to try is a laura mercier the new Laura Mercier foundation. Let me know if you guys want me to do a first impressions on that because like I really want to try that. Again, I'm sorry if the AC is like bothering you, but like I, I can't exist. All right, let me just. Yes, Laura. Let me go back to my eyes. I'm gonna do blue in the waterline. I'm so excited. I love doing this color in the waterline. I feel like it brightens every single look up. It's so nice. It's high def cyan. Cyan by MAC. Oh, this is like impossible. How am I going to do this? Is it working? You know, I could do blue on the lower lash line. That would be really cute for summer. Should I do that? I've decided to do blue, which I originally wasn't going to do. I was just going to pop this on the waterline and then just do peaches again on the bottom. But I really like the way this blue is like popping so we're gonna do it i'm grabbing the viseart bright editorials palette and i'm gonna take the darker blue first with a mac 212 and you guys already know what it is with viseart eyeshadows they are like why i live oh this is like really dark oh no it's not it's not that bad so I'm just going to run this right underneath. So now I'm going to take a Sigma E30, my favoriteest. And I'm going to take the lighter blue, which I think matches this this lighter blue. Oh, that's not that's not really blue. That's like a whatever. I don't know. It's not really blue. So I'm taking the lighter blue. And I'm just going to blend that out a little bit more. I'm going to take... A real techniques deep I dropped my brush detailer brush and I'm gonna take the color NYC in the palette I just jam my finger in a color oh oh that's a pretty color so I'm gonna take the color NYC which is just the lightest it's like a metallic white or something I don't know and I'm gonna pop this on the other corner that color is weird that is like a really weird color it has like a, a blue undertone or something, which I don't mind because I have blue on my lower lash line, but like, like what if I didn't? I'm so excited for the lashes I'm using today. Like, honestly, I think that's like most exciting part. Because I mean, I love lashes in general, so like, I get really excited about things like this. These are the Kim Thai lashes with Cake Face Beauty. They're called Lion Hearted and they are so large. Just let that chill for a minute whilst I contour I'm using the shade and light palette by Catherine Bondi I guess her real name is Catherine I do know that <laughs> I used to be like one of the weirdest people I never ever 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 wore bronzer and now I'm like I love you bronzer again recommendations for bronzers please leave them down below because I feel like I'm like really boring with bronzer like I love the ones I love and then that's it do you guys see these lashes right now 
I mean, granted, they definitely just covered like all my eyeshadow, but <laughs> they are so big. Can you see them? Should I zoom you in? Look at that lash. Look at that. Oh my god. Watch me apply this lash because it's like it's like a whole other level. Like, this is my first time using this lash, and I can already tell you this is gonna be my favorite. I'm about to stock up. I don't know if these are limited edition. Where's my tweezers? If you guys are like me and you need like an intense lash, like I can't do an Ardell Wispy or something like that. Like I, I physically can't do it. These are so good. I'm not really doing a blush. I'm using the Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC in Sun Power. I used to use this as a bronzer and I don't really understand how I did that. But it's like a very bronze, very warm bronze color. Like, that's kind of a blush. That I could see as a blush. Can't see it as bronzer. Don't know what's wrong with me. It's like way too warm. So for highlight, I'm going to use the ColourPop. I don't know what the name of this palette is. Give me more palette. I'm going to take the color Bigger and Better, which is this one right here. I only used this palette one time, and I think I used this pink shade. I don't remember. I think I used that pink shade, though. So I'm going to use the A23. Okay. It's very intense. But. It feel like it. I don't know. It, it's kind of um. It doesn't feel gritty. But like I feel like it looks a little gritty. Like. Like it's not. I don't know. It's not glittery. But it feel. It looks kind of chunky. That's that's what I'm trying to say. It looks kind of chunky. It's not like. I don't know if it's coming off my camera. But it's not like perfectly smooth. But that's okay. Because. <laughs> that's so intense. I want to do a peachy lip, but I'm not sure which one of these I want to use. I have the Dior Addict Fluid Stick in Mirage, which I I used to be obsessed with this. And then I have the Dose of Colors Lipstick in Angelic. I don't know which one I'm going to use. But I'm going to start with Strip Down by MAC, even though you can barely see this color on me. You can, like, you can really barely see this color on me. Should I swatch them? Well, okay, it looks like Mirage is a little darker, and Mirage is also like a glossy texture. I feel like I haven't worn a gloss in a long time, so maybe like, that's what Mama needs. I'm gonna do Mirage. The Dior, I don't know, I don't know it's like so orange. I regret it, I regret it. <laughs> I should've put the lipstick first. I thought this was going to be pigmented enough. I definitely want to get a new camera. This is what I did want to talk about. I just wiped this whole crap off because it just it wasn't working out. I definitely want to buy a new camera. But I'm so confused. Like I don't know what camera to, to buy. I currently have a T3i, which is a nice camera. The only thing I don't like about it... Well, there's like two. Two main things I don't like about it. Number one is that it doesn't have autofocus which is annoying as a madre padre, not annoying. And then number two is that it does film like an HD, but it only goes up to like 720 instead of like 1040 or whatever the max HD is. So that's kind of annoying. But all right, so I'm going in with Angelic by Dose of Colors. <laughs> Cuddling. These feel so like watery, but like hydrating and nice, you know? Mm. Yes. And that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and chatting with me. I feel like I talked about the most random things in the entire world. <laughs> you know, I should put some highlight on. Like over here, right? I think I should. I'm wearing an off-the-shoulder top. Like, when else do you put highlight over here, Yana? I'm gonna go in with the same color. Sweet. I've never put highlight on my body in my entire life, I don't think. Oh, girl. Look at that. Look at that. I think I put too much over here. 
Okay, I'm done. I'm done. I'm probably going to tone that down in like five seconds. So thanks again for hanging out with me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to thumbs it up if you did like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Snapchat. And don't forget to check the description box. I'm going to leave a whole bunch of links down there. And I'm going to leave everything that we used today because I wasn't really like too specific, I think. But everything's going to be linked down below. And should I bring milkshake? You guys seem to like it when I bring milkshake. I'll bring milkshake. We will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Say bye. Je boy. Bye. Mwah. Bye. Hi friends, welcome back. So today I'm bringing you guys another video and this is going to be a tutorial on this look that I'm wearing right here, obviously. I feel like I've done